So our next step is we want to use this in our uh, in uh, a programmatic way. So let's open our IDE and uh, write some code. Okay, so I'll be using Spider for just for this uh, video, just to show you some stuff. Okay, so I wrote this function. Just uh, it takes a request, just like the request that we have in the Graph API Explorer. So I can just take this request and call it, and let's see if it works. Let me just run this function first. Now we can make uh, any requests here. So I just copy and paste this request and let's see if it works. Oh, I forgot to run the imports and the token of course. I'll just run this and get the token from here. and also run it okay uh, okay so uh, something's wrong with this URL so let me just just make another URL here so okay here we go let me just take this request and find and put it here. I forgot to close the pra Okay, I get a response 200, it means uh, it's successful. I've just forgot to save it into uh, a variable, so let me put R and run this. So R now is contains the response I got from Facebook. So in order to access its contents, which are JSON, I just type r.json and this will get me the JSON object. So I can just save it as my object or result. And here, if you go to variable explorer in this ID, you'll find result, which contains data and paging. The data is uh, each post, for example, uh, here is a post that contains comments, ID, likes, as you see it's uh, nested JSON, so this, each one of those are adjacent or in Python a dictionary. And also we have another dictionary which is paging, as you see it contains next and previous keys and the values are a URL. So what are those? Uh, we will look to those next. We will use those to get all the posts from a certain page. So what next will do is it will give us the next set of results for for our request. So uh, this is how uh, basic. This is how basic how it works. We got this function here. We write a loop. So what this loop does is. Just forget about this line for one second and we will make a empty list which will contain all the data then we want to extend this list so what I'll do is just make a request I just made a request and extend it extends uh, in Python if you don't know it puts the contents of a list into another list so it puts the content of this list that I got from uh, uh, from the uh, from the request into here, as you see, this is a list containing the posts into uh, my empty list, which is data, which will contain all the data. So I'll extend results of data into my list. Then I'll make a new request. This new request will get me the next set of results, and of course. Uh, I'll convert them to JSON and this loop will just run till I get all the boots from a group. The way this loop will stop is by throwing an error, so this is just a dirty way. So when there's no more results, I get all the boots, 
uh, there will be no more Beijing next. So this will throw an error and I'll just print done and exit. So uh, what is this I it does is I just made a variable here. So as a general rule, before you scrap or a, a large amount of data uh, in any way, so what you want to do is make sure your script is working before you run it. So this is what this part does. So this just makes sure it's working by running it only five times. So uh, after five times I break and let's check the results and see. There are two more things you want to do before scrapping a large amount of data. Number one is putting time to sleep which uh, which basically slows down or throttle your requests. So instead of making 10, 20 requests per second, you're only making one request then sleep or wait for two to five seconds, random number. And the third thing you want to do, is don't forget this is the most important thing, is you want to save the data into a file so you cannot just have the data laying in your environment like a variable here no you want to save it uh, I'll be using pickle, pickle just as it will serialize the list it will save it into a file so the way it works is you give it data, you give it any object and you give it a file so I made a new file here called steamdata.pickle and I give it my list which is data and the way I load the data is because to load and just specify it, open the file the way uh, written here so let me uh, run in it but I just because uh, I already got the data so let me draw it as a test first a line here that was causing a problem uh, and it's now running, it should stop after 5 tries uh, we're waiting the way is so slow because I told it to wait for 5 seconds let me check my network activity to make sure it's working yeah as you see Python I think it made 3 all kits finished um, so as you see here we got 23 posts because um, I specified a limit to before and I made 5 requests so 5 times 4 is close enough um, here you go we have a list here and if I just remove this limit I will get all the posts ok so uh, before I go I want to show you the request that we will be using in order to uh, um, get the data and that we'll be using in the f our, our future videos so uh, I will be getting the message the comments uh, where did it go so the comments and the message which are the text of the post and uh, I want to tell you a very good trick to, uh, I don't want uh, the actual comment or uh, who uh, made that comment? I want uh, to get the total number of comments per post. So the way you do this here, because you will not find it in this tool, is you put summary true. After co and the same goes for likes. So if you do this, you'll find a field here somewhere. Uh, getting you telling you the total number of comments for this post and in order to remove all these comments it will drastically reduce our file size I'll just add limit equals zero so this way for each post I'll get the total number of comments it just removed because I updated it from here let me just add it again so for, uh, for each post I get the total number of comments I'll also do the same for likes and I also want created time and message as fields so uh, I'll do that and in the next video we'll start analyzing the data and take a look at it so I'll see you in the next video